Hey everyone, it is Cole from Easy Crypto here. And in this video, we are discussing Atomic Wallet. So I'm gonna show you how to get Atomic Wallet onto your desktop, how to back up your wallet, and then how to send and receive from your wallet. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download Atomic Wallet. So to do this, all you need to do is head over to any browser of your choice. Here I am on Firefox. So I'm just gonna open a new tab and search Atomic Wallet. When you search Atomic Wallet, it's gonna be the first one at the top here, atomicwallet.io. Now, please make sure you are on atomicwallet.io. That's really important as if you're on the wrong site and you download something from that site, you might be downloading malware or a virus or something you don't want on your computer. So please make sure you're on the correct site. Now that we're on the right site, you wanna to head to the top right over here and hit download. Now I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna hit Mac OS but obviously you'd select whatever you're on. And then Atomic Wallet's gonna ask you if you want updates. I personally don't, so I'm just gonna hit the cross over here. Okay, as you can see, Atomic Wallet has downloaded, so I'm gonna head over to my files. I have my downloads tab ready right here. So here's Atomic Wallet downloaded. I'm just gonna double click it, and there we go. Next, all I have to do is drag Atomic Wallet over to applications and Finder is going to ask me for my password, which I'll quickly fill in. Okay, so the password's done, and now it's copying Atomic Wallet to my applications. And there we go, Atomic Wallet is now in my applications. So I'm just gonna hit applications here, and here it is. Let me open Atomic Wallet. Okay, Atomic Wallet is now ready to go. So I'm just gonna make this tab big, and let's get started with Atomic Wallet. Now it's gonna ask you, do you want to create a new wallet or a store from backup? So if you already have a crypto wallet and you'd like to restore your backup into Atomic Wallet, you'd click here. But if you're like me and you wanna make a new wallet, which I'm assuming most of you will want to do, you just wanna hit new wallet. Now it's gonna ask you to set a password, so I'm quickly gonna do that. All right, I have my password typed in and I'm gonna hit set password. And Atomic Wallet is just loading all the different wallets. Okay, Atomic Wallet is ready, and now it is giving me my 12-word backup phrase. So what you wanna do is write this down and keep this somewhere very safe and private. If your computer is broken or stolen, or the hard drive is wiped, or anything bad happens to your computer, you will need these words to get your funds back, to get your wallet back. It is best practice to write this down. You decide how many copies you want. I would recommend having two or more. And make sure to keep it somewhere safe and private. So. I've written my words down already, and I'm gonna hit open wallet. Just one more thing about your 12 words is, you also don't want anybody else to see it. If anyone gets your 12 words, they can also just take your words, put it into another wallet, and they have access to all your funds. So that's why I say keep it somewhere safe and keep it somewhere private. Now we are in Atomic Wallet and we can receive or send crypto from it. Before you can send crypto, you have to receive crypto first. So I will be showing you how to receive crypto into your Atomic Wallet now. So the first step is to select the coin you'd like to receive in your wallet. So there's a whole bunch of coins on Atomic Wallet that you can choose from. But in this example, I'll be using Bitcoin. So I'm just gonna hit Bitcoin over here. And all I have to do is hit receive. So I'll hit receive. And now this is my Bitcoin address. So if you were placing an order with Easy Crypto, you would copy this address and paste it in the address tab when you are checking out. Then Easy Crypto will send the funds straight to your Atomic Wallet. So I've got some Bitcoin in a wallet on my phone that I'll be sending to my Atomic Wallet just to show you guys how it works. So I'm gonna hit send and scan the QR code. Okay, so now my wallet knows which address to send the funds to. So I'm gonna select how much Bitcoin to send, a fee, and then I'm gonna send it through. Okay, so I've sent the Bitcoin through to my Atomic Wallet and it should arrive shortly. And there we go, I have a notification from Atomic Wallet and I can see I have $38.6. Okay, so I'm gonna close the address tab here. And here we are, we have Bitcoin in our wallet now. We have 0.00096422 Bitcoin. Now that you know how to receive Bitcoin, I'll show you how to send Bitcoin from your wallet. So if you place a sell order with Easy Crypto, we will give you an address to send the funds to. So in this case, if you placed a Bitcoin sell order, we'd give you a Bitcoin address, and then you'd send the funds to that Bitcoin address. 
So when sending, the first step is to copy the address you want to send the funds to. So I'm not going to be sending to Easy Crypto this time, I'll be sending back to my own personal wallet. So I'm gonna close Atomic for one second, go over here and I've got my Bitcoin address pasted in a block explorer. So I'm just gonna copy this and then go back to Atomic Wallet. So now my address is copied, all I have to do is click send and then paste the address and enter how much Bitcoin I want to send. So in this case, I'll be sending it all. And then Atomic Wallet gives you the option to set a fee. So here's a little tip when sending Bitcoin. What you wanna do is head over to a site called mempool.space. So it's mempool.space and they will recommend the best fee for you. So once you're on mempool.space, you'll see that there are transaction fees here. So here's high priority, medium priority and low priority. So the high priority is at 10 sats per byte. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm gonna head back to Atomic Wallet and here I can type in my sat per byte. So I'm gonna make this 10 and then hit send. Now it's gonna ask for my password. Let me just fill that in quick and hit confirm. There we go, it says sending Bitcoin and success. Now Atomic Wallet gives you a transaction ID right here which you can click and it will open a link or you can copy it and paste it into your own block explorer. So if you click this link, it will take you to Atomic Wallet's Bitcoin Explorer and it'll show you the transaction. But if you like myself and you prefer to use your own explorer, just copy the transaction ID, paste it into your own explorer and there we go, we have the Bitcoin transaction from this address to this address. Okay, so we have successfully sent the Bitcoin back to my wallet and I have received it on my side. So I'm gonna go back to the wallet here and back to wallet. Now Atomic Wallet has a whole bunch of other features which you can experiment with such as staking and you can even see your transaction history by clicking history. And there we have the Bitcoin being received and the Bitcoin being sent. So in this video, I showed you how to back up your Atomic Wallet, how to receive in your Atomic Wallet, and how to send from your Atomic Wallet. And that is the end of this video. Please let us know if you have any questions. Cheers.